All right, so we're continuing today uh, walking through the best sermon that's ever been preached, the Sermon on the Mount, preached by Jesus. You can find it in your Bible in Matthew chapters 5, 6, and 7. Today we're in chapter 7. We're going to look at verses 1 through 6, and this is probably the most famous part of this sermon. If, if it's not the most famous, it's one of the most famous. This is where Jesus says not to judge, and even people that aren't Christian, people that don't know a lot about Jesus, know that he said, said this, not to, not to judge. Follow along with me here, Matthew chapter 7, beginning in verse 1. Here's what Jesus says. He says, judge not that you not be judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. What is Jesus saying? Does he say we're, we're never to make judgment calls? No, obviously we have to make judgment calls. We have to choose between right and wrong. We have to determine who should we be hanging out with, spending most of our time with, uh, who's good for us, who's bad for us. You know, boundaries and relationships are, are okay. We have to make judgment calls. But he's saying be careful when you make judgment calls that you don't judge the person, and then he says something brilliant, and everything Jesus says is brilliant. He says, because with the measure you use, that's going to be used against, against you. What's he saying? What you send out is what you're going to get, get back. Have you noticed in recent days that, that the media or people who are... Um, Unchristian, non-Christian seem to be very aggressive against Christians. Have you noticed that? I, I think in many ways that's because uh, Christianity at large in America, we've, we've reaped what we've, we've sown. Uh, we spent decades uh, yelling at people that weren't Christian and, and yelling, you know, why are you acting like a Christian? Which the obvious answer is because they're not Christians. And now that they're yelling back, we're like, hey, don't yell at me. It could be we're just reaping what we've sown, and it's what Jesus is teaching here. What we send out is, is what we get, get back. I jotted a few things down, just a couple of thoughts. Perhaps we need less debating and more relating and persuading. Maybe we can make judgment calls, but we can do that in a kind, loving, friendly winsome way. Less debating, more relating, and persuading. I wrote this down. We don't argue people into the kingdom of God. We love them there. Think about this, and this is from the example of, of Jesus. Uh, the best way to defeat your enemy is to make them your friend. Jesus did this all the time. Uh, Jesus was friends with people he disagreed with. Jesus was, in fact, called a friend of of sinners. One of the things that I've talked about here at Sun Valley, I want to remind you of it. I, I was listening to a lady give her testimony one time, and, and she was a non-Christian that had become a Christian, and she said all of her thoughts uh, of church were in this realm. If she uh, chose to behave and she pretended she believed, then perhaps she could belong. And then with this new church that she was going to, people just loved her. She just belonged. And in that belonging, she began to actually study and look at the scriptures, and she began to believe. And she said, shockingly, it's changed the way I behave. You know, that's how Jesus did it. He just loved everybody. They belonged. He treated them with respect. He loved them well. And in that, they began to believe, and in that, their behavior began to, to change. Jesus said, what we send out is what we're going to get back. So be wise with that. Be wise in how you make judgment calls. And then he says this, verse 3, why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? By the way, this is a big Hebrew funny right here. You and I don't get it, but he probably would have held up a big stick, you know, and everybody would have laughed. Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye? And then he says this, you hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. See, here's the thing. When I 
have a judgmental attitude. I actually can't see the other person. All I see is their sin. I'm not thinking about them, who they are, why they're acting that way. And that log of self-righteousness actually keeps me from seeing people the way that Jesus sees them. And then he says, verse the, and he says this in verse 6, Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. What, what does that mean? Well, pearls cannot be digested. He said, why, why would you say something to somebody who doesn't understand Christianity? Why would you hold them to the standard of Christian when they are un-Christian? If you want, you can look up this verse, perhaps uh, read it as the video ends. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 12, the Apostle Paul writes, don't, don't judge people outside the, the church. See, here's what we do with this whole judgment thing. What we send out is what we're going to get back. How we treat people is how they're going to treat us. Let's love people well. Let's treat them with kindness. Let's not throw things at them that they can't possibly digest because they're not Jesus followers. Let's love first, lead second, but always do both. What's the bottom line of the passage for today? We're to exercise judgment without being judgmental. We're to ex exercise judgment without being judgmental. We, we can make judgment calls and still love people well. And if you think, how do, how do I do that? I'll just remind you of what Jesus said. Uh, treat others the way that you would like to be treated. Let's help everybody belong. Let's, let's love people well in hopes that they might believe. And let's let God change their behavior. Let me take a moment and pray for you today. Brilliant words from Jesus. Let's pray. Father, give us wisdom of these things, and may we be a people that are known by our love. I pray like Jesus, we would be full of grace and truth. May we make judgment calls, but may we not do it in judgmental ways. So give us wisdom, and may we love and lead well. And may, again, we, like you, be full of grace and truth. Teach us, we pray, in Jesus' name, amen.